Hey guys, it's Kanisha with Currency Queen Budgets. I wanted to jump on here real quick to show you guys how I do my cash envelopes. This has been a video that has been requested a few times. So I was in the middle of making an order. So I decided to grab everything and kind of record it so you guys can actually see. And as you can see, I already went through and weeded everything out. I used my handy dandy tool here. I bought this from Amazon. Um, it came in a kit. I'm not sure which one it came in, but I will try to find it and leave the link down below. But I used this to pull up all the extra um, vinyl that was on here, and I use it for weeding as well. But I already did that part and I started making some envelopes, but like I said, I just decided to jump on here because some of you guys wanted to see it. I did cut this with using my Cricut and I am going to just go in the process and finish what I've started. So I'm going to roll this up because I have like 25 envelopes that I have to do and I was into number three before I realized that I can just jump on here and show you guys what I'm doing. So I just want to do that real quick. And y'all don't judge me about my mat here. I use this mat for everything and it is kind of gunky looking and I know people that use Cricut can identify with me or that use these Cricut mats can identify with me. Hey, they just get like that sometimes. You can't keep them clean forever. But I am going to show you guys how I do this. Um, I wish I would have jumped on here before I weeded everything out, but I will try to get that on another video, but I will just get my transfer tape. I purchased transfer tape from Hobby Lobby. I get to get mine from Hobby Lobby. This is the paper studio. You can buy this from Cricut. You can purchase it from, um, Michaels as well. And I know they have some on Amazon. I just don't have the link because I never used it. Um, but what I do, and I did use this on those, but I reuse it until I can't anymore. So, what I do is I just line it up. I cut my tape for the size of the project that I'm doing. So, this tape is probably two and a half inches by five and a half, I think. I'm not sure how long I cut the tape. So what you do is you just put it on top and you kind of go over it and smooth it out and put you some elbow grease in there because you want this to lift up. And what I like to do, I like to flip this over and go on the back as well and try to make sure I get everything in there. And I will show you why it comes with a lot of pressure. Okay, so what you'll do now is you just lift that tape and everything should come up with it. If it doesn't, like this, you can just go around and kind of assist it onto your tape. And you have lifted everything and you have your $20 off that paper. So I'm going to show you guys this because I do have a guide that I keep with this and I marked it here and I marked it here. So what I do is I take my envelope and I put it in the center of those two lines just to kind of give me an idea of it being centered because I like for my envelopes to the numbers and everything to be kind of the same size size and height if y'all can see that none is like way up here or way down there so that's what I use and I use that top line as my guide and I will just stick it on here kind of center it you kind of have to eyeball it because sometimes your fingers will be in the way. And I just smooth it out on there, making sure I'm hitting everything. And 
There you go. You have your envelope. So I'm going to do a couple more and I'm going to stay on. I'm going to just be quiet because I'm going to maybe fast forward the rest of the video and play a little music for you guys. But y'all can't just make this one with me. Okay, so this is not all the envelopes that I'm doing for this order. I have plenty more. And I'm just going to go through and show you guys how I go into packing my orders. take all of my envelopes and I have a plastic bag here that is kind of huge I'm not going to say it's really huge but it is kind of huge and I just put those in there and then I will grab my thing with the thank you cards in it I will put one of those there and I will write a thank you note here and I will put it in there and then from here after I put my business card in there I will go to my packing binder my packing envelope here and I will just go in. I have some ties here. Oops. I just don't want to stay out the way. Okay, so I will just pick a color. Any color is going to do for this video. Because I'm going to open this back. But what I do is I normally just get it and bunch it together. And you guys know how these little ties work just go in and I don't do it too tight because I'm going to go in with something else and then I don't want my envelopes to be bent so I try to kind of leave it like that and I'm going to put these back my little babies just don't want to be still okay so we're going to put it this right here and then I go in and I grab any color tool that's close to me which this happens to be a yellow piece of tool 
And you can purchase this from Hobby Lobby as well. And I just cut off a small piece. I'm gonna go underneath and tie it into a bow. And then we're gonna cut here. You go, guy. And we're gonna cut here. You wanna say hey to everybody? No. And that is how I package it. It. We put the label on the packing slip inside and then go in with our label and one of these stickers. But that is how I package my orders, this is how I get them ready. And I am going to jump off of here. I guess I will, but this is how it looks. I'm not going to seal that up because I have plenty more to go in there. But that is basically how I do everything. Now, I may change this color depending on how I'm feeling that day. I like purple, but everything else is purple. So, yeah. And that's how it looks once you flip it over. And then you have your free gifts. I can put my freebies in there. I also have a folder for those. And I just keep my trackers here. And I really like these. I stay, This keeps me organized. Because I had stuff everywhere. I tried to have everything stacked up in one spot. But they fall over. Get on my nerves. So I kind of came up with this little system here. And it works very well. And they are so cute. To me and I'm thinking about um, I'm trying to get them in the frame here I'm trying to, I'm thinking about selling these and um, for a small fee of course but yeah I have more colors but I don't have them close to me but this is what I need for when I'm packing an order this is what I need. I'll put my business card in, some freebies. I'll put out some trackers for my freebies, and then everything that I need to pack with. I have my um, bags in here. These can't fit in there because they're too long, but I do have my other size bags. Now, when I do my other pack some orders with me, I will show you everything, and I will do step by step on all things that I'm doing um so yeah that is all I wanted to get on here to show you guys really quick how I package an order how I make an order package the order and get it ready to be sent out but this is at a weird angle guys let me see if I can do some adjusting I am at my crafting desk and I decided to just try to come in here and do a video while I was in here making these orders so <laughs> so if it's kind of weird that's what it is y'all this if it looks weird that's what it is I'm just at a different angle on a different desk and I have to figure out how to do it um to make it look okay and I hope when I upload this video, it's not turned sideways. Because I'm normally sideways with my camera. But that's enough of that. But I really appreciate you guys for coming, stopping by. And I really think this video is going to be sideways. 
But I really think I really appreciate y'all for stopping by. And um, if you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and leave me a comment. But as always, guys, I want you to be blessed, Queenies. Bye.